Welcome back to Auto Technic. Today's part two of the jet boat videos, and we're gonna go ahead and cut the floor and the stringers out of the boat. So stay tuned. All right, so if you guys didn't see the first video on this series, I talked about the stringers and how I found that they were bad, rotted out, and I went ahead and got the interior out of the boat, got the boat off the trailer, set up here on the lift, and got a lot of the adhesive for the carpet taken out of the boat. And that's pretty much where I left off at that video. So today's goal is to go ahead and get one, possibly both stringers cut out, and also the center floor. Now the center floor runs all the way up to pretty far up into the bow, probably five, six feet. So it's quite a bit of wood to cut out of there. Now is what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this oscillating saw with just a wood cutting blade, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut here on the seams of the center wood. And then I'm actually gonna run a skill saw down the center and split it in half, and I'll try to lift it up in two pieces. Once I have all of the center floor out of the boat, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this stringer first because it's the worst one. And my plan of attack on that also is to cut underneath the stringer with this tool and kind of take the stringer out with the cap and the glass all in one shot. Um, there's so many different ways to pull stringers out. I've seen everyone has their own opinion and honestly on this one i'm just gonna kind of go with the flow if i feel i'm struggling with that tool cutting underneath the stringer i'll jump the different tools and i'll just experiment until i find something that i think is working um, easy enough for me and i'll let you guys know what i find in the end but for now i need to go ahead and hop in i'm gonna start up in the bow and i need to get this center floor cut out <laughs> Okay, so I got the center of the floor out and it went better than I thought. I was able just to slice it down like I talked about and you can see I got it all the way out. It ran pretty much all the way up to within a maybe a foot, two feet of the end of the bow. So as you can see all the way at the front also there was some water damage up there on the center board and underneath the plywood for the floor. Um, I actually plan on changing the way this is set up so that center board is going to come out also with the stringers and also these forward bulkheads up here, I'm gonna go ahead and change those as well. So essentially, all of the wood in the boat, except the transom and the bulkheads here for the fuel tanks are coming out, and I'm gonna rework it and change it around. But anyways, I got the floor out, and you can see the front piece will be good for a template when I'm going back together. So I'll go ahead and save that for now. But you can see on the bottom, it, some water damage on the front and um, it wasn't glass on the bottom either so we'll change all of that going back in with new wood the one thing that i didn't um, anticipate was with that oscillating saw on the fiberglass with these blades if you can see it but it wore that blade down very quickly so i was able to use this blade and another thinner blade to get the floor out but it has me questioning if i'm gonna be able to do that for the entire stringers so I might try with the Sawzall, just cutting underneath of them and seeing how well that works. Um, and like I said, I'll just play it by ear and kind of experiment and find what works, works best for me with the tools that I have. So hang tight, it's time to go ahead and get the stringer out.
All right, I was able to get the stringers cut out of the boat and I used a combination of the oscillating saw and a cutoff wheel on a grinder. Now, the oscillating saw, when I would actually go ahead and cut underneath the stringer, it would just jump through because you can see that the stringers were not bonded at all to the bottom of the hole. So it was just a matter of cutting this glass on the side and lifting them up. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed on the video, but when I went ahead and tried to remove this stringer and lift it up, I tore it straight in half. It was, it's completely rotted. There's really nothing left of it. Um, only the fiberglass encasement was holding that one together. I was able to get the second stringer out in one piece, but that posed another problem. If you have a keen eye, you notice that I've actually kicked the boat over quite a bit, the back end, shifted it over because I didn't have enough room to get that stringer out without hitting the wall. So I got that out in one piece and it's has some rot, but it's not too bad. And I'll be able to use that one as a template to help me rough in the cut for the new stringers. Uh, the center board, it actually was in pretty good shape. Judging by the fiberglass job, that was added in at a much later date than the stringers because the stringers were held in with um, cloth and that was held in with mat and the glass job was absolutely terrible on it. Um, the board's in good shape, like I mentioned. You can see the terrible glass job. So again, I'll be able to keep that and use that as a template when I rough in the new boards and that's gonna go ahead and help me out. Now I went ahead and just kind of did some experimenting and seeing what's gonna take to get the rest of this glass up before I start sanding it and prepping it. And I was able to make pretty decent headway with just a chisel and a hammer and basically get under the original, in between the original glass and the glass that they used to laminate everything in and just go ahead and knock it out. Now here's a section of the stringer that I pulled out. And as you can see, it's just completely falling apart and rotted. So I have the stringer up here that came apart in two pieces. And this right here is the front section. And I mean, absolutely completely gone. So the rear section has quite a bit of rot too. If I pull this fiberglass off, it'll just pretty much fall apart. There's a few spots where I lifted it up and it's pretty bad. I went ahead and on the port or left stringer, I used some pry bars and I went ahead and just separated the fiberglass um, encasement and tabbing from what is left of the wood. So I'm pretty shocked that it was this bad. Um, I knew the stringer was rotted, but once I popped it out of here and saw how bad it was, I had to just show you guys this. And if you notice, this is the front section of the stringer. Uh, my stringers are 16 feet long. And if you'll notice that it was rotted and just broke apart up here. So it was waterlogged and rotted all the way from the back to 16 feet forward of the boat. Um, clearly this has been rotted out for a long time, but I had no idea and could not even imagine that it was this bad when it was on the boat. I thought it was worth grabbing the camera and showing you guys because I think this is about as bad as it gets, honestly. So anyways. More bad news guys. I was working on this and I was definitely going under the philosophy of ignorance is bliss. And I had myself convinced that my transom would be fine, that I was only gonna be putting stringers in the boat and it wasn't, wasn't gonna encounter any other rot. I should have known better. Once I got the stringers out, right where they meet up to the transom, you can see that it's just completely gone. There's nothing left of that. So I was planning on doing more in this video on getting everything prepped for these stringers, but rather than continue and doing all the fiberglass prep in the boat, I'm gonna have to go ahead and take a little bit of a left turn and replace the transom. So is what I'm gonna have to do in order to get that transom out is all the wiring cables, everything needs to be removed from the back of the transom. I need to cut out my fuel tanks. I'm gonna redo those bulkheads up there on the fuel tanks because they're actually not tabbed in correctly and it's actually causing creases in the gel coat. So before I go ahead and prep all my fiberglass, I'm gonna continue to cut everything out that I need to. So I need to get both fuel tanks out and I need to get everything off the transom, get the transom out. And the real bad news of this is my transom goes underneath the pump on the back. Right back under here. So I'm gonna have to pull my pump out or my intake for my pump out. So, not really looking forward to that, but it's gonna give me the opportunity to get that machine for a shoe and ride plate. 
So at least a little bit of a good news and I can get it repainted to clean things up. Since I have to replace the transom, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this video here and I'll make that a whole new clean, another video and going through and getting that transom replaced. Once the transom's in and installed in the boat and completely glassed in, we'll jump back to getting the stringers back in, getting the fuel tanks, bulkheads, and the front bulkheads remade in the boat and getting this all back together. So not what I expected, but we're this far. I don't wanna do these stringers again. I'm gonna do it right and get the transom taken care of now. Anyways, please subscribe to the channel guys, turn on notifications, watch this video and the other videos I have of this boat, and I really appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you.